good, good to see someone interested in education. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to speak about the controversy that uh, was associated with the introduction of the NEET. Now, NEET is the National Eligibility Come Entrance Test. And it has been perhaps one of the most controversial, debated, and resented examination held in India. Is it? <laughs> and I think one of some of my subsequent slides will show that. So the, what was the objective of uh, introducing NEET? The purpose was to reduce multiple examinations in, uh, for the admission to 412 medical colleges, except AIMS and JIPMA, uh, into one single examination. So a, a candidate who wanted to join medical college um, and MBBS had to appear in multiple examinations, many of them clashing with each other. So this was intended to replace that. And at the say same time, the secondary objective was to curb the corruption and fraudulent activities in the admission process, which you kept hearing about all the time. So how did NEET come about? So till 2012, CBC, uh, CBSC was conducting All India PMT examination for 15% of the All India quota seats rest conducted by states and then the government of India largely on the prodding of Supreme Court started the process of one country one test the need it was um, when the concept came it was opposed by the opposition and from states and from private medical colleges. We know the kind of interest involved in, in the admission process. So it was no surprise that such a deferring take place. And MCI was entrusted with the task of uh, getting this exam in readiness. Uh, so there were over 80 cases filed opposing undergraduate NEET. Uh, but in spite of all that, May 5, 2013, the first test was held. But then in July came this much talked about split verdict of the Supreme Court. This was a bench headed by former Chief Justice Altamash Kabir. It held that MCI lacked the legal authority to control admissions to MBBS. Now this was even though, as I said, the whole process had been prodded by uh, the MCI, by the uh, Supreme Court from the beginning. Now this was a split 2-1 verdict. The um, possible result was leaked well prior to the set date. And uh, this happened to be the day when Chief Justice was retiring. Uh, retiring. Following uh, this judgment, there were a lot of questions raised which did not add glory to the court. So as a result of this, CBSC revert to, reverted to the conduct of AIPMT examination as it was doing till 2012. But then a review petition was finally mounted after the Supreme Court Chief Justice Altamash Kabir had retired. Um, this was mounted based on surrounding circumstances and the dissenting verdict of Justice Dave in the 2-1 verdict. In April 2016, the Supreme Court upheld the conduct of NEET for once, uh, reversing its own uh, decision and revived center's notification for conduct of no NEET. It also ruled that any further challenges or classification to the order that they were now passing must come only to ST and not to any other courts. So uh, therefore then the NEET could be conducted in May 1, 2016 but on May 25, Supreme Court, under political pressure, issued an ordinance that state exams had to be were being kept outside the purview of NEET for the year. Then, TN government 
passed an act in February 2017 saying that NEET will not apply to Tamil Nadu. That has, however, been held up by the center, which has not given a presidential assent to this. So then finally, Jan in January 2017, NEET was announced in 10 languages, and Supreme Court allowed addition of Urdu after the presentations. And then the exam was finally held on May 7, 2017, in one phase. It had been held in 2016 when it did not apply to states, in two phases first. And then this huge number of candidates appeared, including NRIs, OCIs, PIOs, and foreigners. But this exam was full of controversies. A list of do's and don'ts was released. Metal detectors were used at the exam. And then uh, people had to go and change their jeans or bras or if they there was a metal sound. Cut earrings had to be cut. Full sleeves were cut to half at places. But there were other controversies as well. There were mix-up in question papers, alleged allegation over attempts to leak question papers and impersonators appearing for the exam. In May 2017, Madurai bench of Madras High Court state declaration of results, but Supreme Court acted proactively and transferred the challenge to itself and directed the CBSC to declare the result. So it seems that NEET was conceived from the beginning by the Supreme Court, given birth, nurtured, and rendered a reality in spite of the hiccups in between, thanks to the interventionist ways of Supreme Court, which have also been, been criticized by some. But kudos to Supreme Court for its proactive role that in spite of all the odds, it is finally a reality. So that was about the undergraduate exam. Then the postgraduate exam for NEET has also been started. It has been conducted by National Board in 2017 and in 2018. And it is a single entrance exam to various MD, MS, and PG diploma courses. It has replaced the DNB entrance exam as well as the All India PG medical entrance examination. It was conducted on January 7, 2018 this year by an online computer-based test in a single day, single session. And the results were declared as recent as January 23, 2018. Now the notice has also come for super speciality admission test for the postgraduates. Uh, so this is proposed to be a single entrance examination to super specialities for postgraduates. It is to be held in June 2018 to be conducted by national board. A candidate can choose maximum of two super specialty courses for which his broad specialty is eligible. For example, a medicine course graduate can choose gastroenterology and nephrology, but not more than two, not a neurology also, or no, so he can't give all of them. So this is going to be a computer-based platform, single session, and 40% of questions from the broad speciality and 60% of questions are going to be from the super speciality of his choice. So this is broadly the uh, put outlines the struggles that uh, have been um, that this exam has been faced before finally coming to fruition, fruition, and hopefully now it will be applied to undergraduate, postgraduate, and super specialities entrance exams, unless <coughs> some other forces are powerful enough to get back in spite of Supreme Court's active interest. So, so why wha do you think there has been so much opposition to this? We this all know the, know the factors because Post one is uh, crores and crores and crores. Uh, we are in the I have been invested in the private medical colleges, and uh, people want to make <coughs> profit. But there. private mod medical colleges will get students who need anyway. Pardon? I mean, they will get students who need. Mm, yeah, but they will get students. But earlier they had the privilege, in spite of there being an entrance examination. They had the privilege of admitting the candidates as per their choice. Um, they did not have to um, 
be in any merit, so they could take them. They just could kind of sell those so seats. They could just put in a price, and whoever could pay that price and and was a medical, <laughs> was an uh, twelfth class pass with the uh, subjects of biology or something something with minimum forty percent marks or whatever, could get in. So then they had the freedom to charge whatever they could, and that was a vested interest. But once uh, they have to take people from that merit, they can only take fees which are legitimate. I mean, if you are coming through a merit list, why would you uh, pay a capitation fee? So there's nothing like a like a quota, management quota, or something like that. No, so there's not kind of all finished. No, now uh, there will be maybe quotas within that, uh, and uh, the states will admit their. Own, I mean, from that list. States will have the option. Uh, there will be those uh, d different categories still exist. There will be central candidates. Okay. There will be state but candidates. But they all come through the need. Yeah, but those who opt for uh, or a mm -hmm. private medical college seat, people have to opt for that. People have to know that they will be, they will have to pay those kind of fees if they are opting for private medical colleges. But then they will have to be from that merit list. So if um, 200 people apply for a private medical college and um, then th they are in that order of merit only then they can be selected so uh, as per the choice there were efforts to that and some were caught and uh, because people use the technique of blocking blocking a seat and something like that but now that has also been w what was that block <laughs> 35 lakhs per year okay And other students, they will be charged less. So, so you know, does that mean that kind of merit students, they are getting penalized for being in merit? Because they are being charged more? Yeah. I mean, um, the NMC particularly, they totally takes off. There was a Supreme Court uh, ruling on how much the fees per year should be maximum in a private medical college earlier. But now, uh, the NMC takes that away. Uh, once the NMC is passed, it says that if the NMC is ad adhered to, then those 35 percent seats or, or so or so, there will have there will be no limit on what the uh, uh, organization can fix as its fees. So, so that will, in a way, again promote people to come from lower merits to the yeah. But they have the to be in that list. Yeah, but what I think there may be like 200 people above them who cannot pay. You know, uh, what has started happening is that many medical colleges did not get any candidates at all because the fees were too high, so nobody, ap not enough people from the merit list applied. So yeah. that f phenomenon for the first time has started happening. So that may be that happening. there were medical colleges which were which not did not get fulfilled their seats. Yeah, but that may be happening because people don't want to go to medical colleges. They have better options. Yeah, uh, you know, th the number of candidates that appear is 11 lakh, 32 lakh. Mm -hmm. So that many people want to appear. Mm -hmm. That many more people want it. Mm -hmm. But they can't afford those kind of fees. And with those kind of fees, they don't want to go into those colleges. Yeah, so someone in the lower quali ranking, if he's willing to pay more fees. So but then there is a cutoff. He will be accepted. But then there is a cutoff that beyond okay, this, you are not, you have not become good. eligible. El it is an eligibility come entrance examination test. Right. Uh, 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 that, that's kind so of percentile will make it's it very different. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's very different. Yeah. I welcome the two most important speakers. <laughs> we have um, an audience here, so you can't say there's no audience. And we'll listen very carefully to every word of what you say. <laughs> and congratulations on your election. We welcome Dr. Maipal and Chairman Scientific Committee. So um, we've spoken about the NEAT controversy, how much resistance it faced, and how Supreme Court had to proactively go through those stages in order to fight all the vested interests every year till they got it to fruition. So now we have the undergraduate NEET examination, we have the postgraduate NEET examination, and the super speciality examination is now starting.
I think the super spe uh, specialty you said is kind of based on the similar lines as we have the undergraduate degree. Yes. Um, now again, it will be computer based and will be um, on desk based and it will be an exam. Do you, do you think there will be like some differences? I mean, you can't really put the same model everywhere. So do you think in super specialization stage we need a little bit of different model? Because the computer-based yeah, exams... Question, question does arise whether a multiple choice question is the answer to everything, especially in a, in a clinical setting when you're choosing people who have done post-graduation and you want to do super specialization, whether just the um, multiple choice question which, which only assesses the theoretical part of it and that to a specific ability to do well in memorization, yeah, do well just in the cognition reproducing. Part yeah. Yeah. So that, that aspect must be considered, but yes, at the moment, probably to uh, circumvent the subjective element which has been the bane of uh, all our selection processes so far, which has not been used constructively, but has been used um, for by with ulterior motives, maybe that is the reason why this has gone through. So maybe then we can have Dr. Pandav speak to us. So then, then I think um, in that order. Dr. Mahipal.